we drove on into West Yellowstone to get some groceries and stuff like that since the park is closed. And we came across these freaking rad guide vehicles. Check this thing out. How cool is this? It's got these tiny little pizza cutter tires. Look at that. There's like no tread on it. <laughs> and then it's tracked in the back. How cool is that? This one's got like skis on it. <laughs> These things are so cool. Now this is a tour bus I can get behind. Look at this thing. Just for comparison. Look at that. And look at mine. <laughs> That's so big. Those big low pressure tires, man. I'll tell you, that thing is massive. <laughs> this one makes that other van look tiny. Look at the tires on this thing. This is definitely meant to go over snow. These super low pressures. It's wild. This would be a cool conversion. It's taller than I am. Just the hood. Look at that. It's wild. I've seen a handful of these trucks come into Canyon where we've been. And I was talking with one of the guys because a lot of them are lifted but still have the small tires on them. I don't know if you can hear me, it is very windy. But it still has the small tires like this one. So I chatted with them about uh, you know the lift and whatever they had on it. And he said usually they run those uh, big LPTs, the low pressure tires. Imagine this as a van life van the tracks on it. You can go anywhere but the highway. <laughs> Got a sweet Suburban on tracks too. How fun would that be? We basically just came out to get some groceries and some fuel and just kind of check it out real quick. My little Bentley boy had to go potty. So he found this really nice grassy area at this hotel. Just letting him walk around. Huh, buddy, what do you think? What do you think? It's warm today, huh? Feels good, though. <laughs> you just want to stay here, don't you? Silly boy. Okay. Look at all these little cabins you can rent. How cool is that? Big windows. They're like tract homes, but it's still pretty cool. Little fire pit in the middle there. That is pretty sweet. Park closed, unknown reopen. <laughs> Not for us. We can head right in. Let's go explore a little bit more while we're in here. This is so crazy. Not a single car here. Normally there'd be a line probably through town getting in here. Unbelievable. Hopefully we can get back in. <laughs> Easy peasy. We just drove right in. He asked where we were staying. Said, well, have a good one. Enjoy. <laughs> it is just weird driving along here and not seeing a single other car. Since today is such an awesome day again, uh, on our way back to Canyon, I think we're gonna take a little bit of a detour down and go check out Old Faithful. You guys wanna check that out? I've never seen it. Sweet little drive right along the side of the Madison River.
this is so cool. If I had my fishing license, I'd bust out the fly rod. I don't know anything about fly fishing. I've caught more trees and branches than I have fish, but it'd be fun to try, especially with nobody here. Look at this. This is so awesome. Wow. It's just so cool being like the only one out here. I just can't get over how absolutely gorgeous this area is. I mean, it's just driving through on the, you know, the highway and stuff. You're just driving through trees, you know, so there's not a whole lot to see, but then it opens up into these big valleys and it's just incredible. Got some more bisons in the road. Check it out. Very cool. There's a little baby one too. See the little baby? Aww. Pretty cool. There's a cool looking campground or picnic area over there. Well, can't see it now. There we go. Oh, and some more bison. Let's drive down there. Oh, road's closed. Never mind. Pretty cool. Maybe tomorrow, if the weather's still holding out and is nice, we'll uh, come to one of those cool places and make lunch or something. It would be awesome to spend a, an hour or so there, just kind of relaxing. It's so cool having the whole place to ourselves. I love it. This is like a barren wasteland. Just hot water steaming up. It's pretty cool though. Kind of want to reach down and feel that water. This is so cool. So these are the fountain paint pots. So I'm guessing just by the picture of it, it looks just like the boiling mud pots. It's pretty cool, but this one right over here looks like it's crystal clear blue water. That's really hot. Crazy to see on this side of the boardwalk, there's nothing growing. These trees didn't stand a chance. And then on this side, for the most part, they're just thriving. Watch your kids, people. This is pretty wild. I wonder how deep that goes. Imagine having a pool like this in your backyard, like a hot tub that looks like this. That would be so rad. I'll tell you though, the steam coming off of there is hot. I can only imagine how hot that water is in there because just the steam like instantly makes you sweat. What's cool about this fountain paint pots is during like wetter times, it gets real sloppy and muddy like this, but in drier climates, like or drier times of the year, summer, it uh, creates like these little cones rather than this like soupy mess, which is pretty crazy. I mean, it's all crazy. Uh, that's pretty wild. Let's see these ones over here just blurbling away. Some big ones that pop out of there sometimes too.
it's so weird to think that we're basically just standing on top of a volcano and that's what's causing all of this. You know, at any time it could just erupt and it'd be over. <laughs> it's just so rad seeing hot, bubbly water coming right out of the ground. All right. Let's go look around. I'll get some shots of all the different things here. And then we're going to head on over to Old Faithful. Look at this geyser shooting up. That's pretty sweet. That was the first geyser I've seen, and that was freaking rad. I could have stayed there and watched that for a long time. Oh, look at that. It's going off in the background. It's so freaking cool. All right, we gotta get over to Old Faithful. Hopefully we don't have to wait long to see that one going off. <laughs> this place is so rad. If you guys haven't been to Yellowstone, you got a cop. It's like nothing I've ever seen, but so worth it. Oh, this is such a cool place. Look at that thing just sputtering away. Oh, man. Looks like we got a sleepy bison. Maybe he's cold and trying to stay warm. <laughs> this is old faithful. I heard from a uh, park ranger um, about a week or so ago that there was a young girl that was gored by a bison right here on this boardwalk uh, just a couple weeks ago. It was real close to the boardwalk, like right on the edge, and she approached it, which is like a huge no-no. I'm assuming that she tried to get a picture either of it or with it and it flung her like 10 feet in the air and she ended up dying in the hospital. It just goes to show you that these bison look like fluffy cows, but they are not, they are dangerous and you don't want to approach them at all. And they're fast too, surprisingly. They, uh, surprisingly. I think they, uh, it's something like 35, 30 or 35 miles an hour they can run, which is crazy just wild. Cool animal though. Super, super cool.
Well, that was pretty cool. I think that was worth the hour and a half wait, especially with the bison right there in the shot. He was getting a little close, so I had to move. <laughs> Came to drink some water that was like right next to where I was sitting. But that was worth it. Super cool. We are now gonna head on back to camp and get our groceries all situated, get the meat seasoned and vacuum sealed and ready to go for whenever we're gonna eat it. My phone battery is about to die. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys back at camp. I'm gonna charge this thing up. As soon as we got back to camp, we had a bunch of people come over um, and we were just chit chatting the rest of the night. So sorry I didn't film any of that, it wasn't too uh, exciting or anything. Make sure you follow along. Remember, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like the videos, comment on them. I try to get back to all of the comments. And then if there's anybody you think would get a kick out of our videos, go ahead and share it as well. Thanks guys. We'll see y'all next time.